just getting ready to start high school, my parents got transferred to Los Angeles. I was devastated. I loved Salt Lake. I was really devastated. So off I went to Los Angeles. Two years later, my father was, trans was transferred up to San Francisco. I met Lindsey Buckingham at our high school. He was a junior, I was a senior. I met him for one day, and then I never saw him again for two years. Two years later, his drummer called me and asked me if I wanted to be in their band. And I said, well, what kind of band is it? And he said, it's a hard rock, San Francisco rockin' band. And I'm like, oh yeah, I can do that! So Monday, two days later, I was in rehearsal at Lindsay's house, which just happened to be right down the street from my parents' house. For the next three years, I was catapulted into this amazing experience, into the most amazing, in my opinion, musical scene of all time between 1965 and 1971. We opened for Dennis Joplin in San Francisco Amphitheater. We watched the hundreds go crazy at San Jose State. We played the, the Winterland, we played the Fillmore, we played the Avalon Ballroom. And our one road trip was we drove in Lindsay Skylar here to Salt Lake City, played this place right here with Leon Russell and, um, and who? Leon Russell and Quick Silver Messenger. So it was our first road trip. We stayed, you know, we stayed here and then we drove on to the San Juan Pacific. So, ten years later, I wrote this next song. I know this is a long guy story, but I want you to understand it. So, I wrote this song to bring back all these memories. So I'm back to the Velvet Underground in San Francisco. Back to the floor that I love, where I went to my bed was. Back to a room with some roses and some paper flowers, our little house in San Jose. Back to the gypsies that he and I were.